I want to thank Buff Comedy for this opportunity. Uh, let's hear from Buff Comedy. I want to thank them for this opportunity, which I intend to use uh, to complain about politicians. Do you guys follow politics at all? You shouldn't. It's boring as fuck and depressing. But I like politics, man, because I don't believe uh, in a God taking care of us, right? So I think it's about us taking care of each other. I believe that's called politics. <laughs> I watch a lot of political uh, campaign speeches. We're about to see a lot more of them, which I thought, uh, I want to give you a little decoder to these motherfuckers. You know how politicians work? It used to be like they promise you some shit, then like they don't do it, right? I've noticed a, a trend, and just in the last election, the last presidential election and the few elections that have followed, and I've already seen this trend popping up again for the new presidential election, is the trend of making nebulous concepts seem like concrete promises. Let me give you some examples. Because this is a stand-up comedy routine. You're supposed to give a lot of fucking examples. <laughs> So you remember the last presidential election? You remember the, uh, the overarching slogan, right? It was hope and change, right? You saw that shit everywhere. It was on t-shirts, it was on people's cars and shit. Hope and change. It was really important, man. But what is hope, right? Hope is uh, the desire and the belief that it is possible to live under better circumstances, right? So the the politician that put this slogan forward was trying to promise us we would have hope and change. You know, he's promising us these two fucking things. Funny thing about hope, man, it's not really a product, right? It's a feeling, right? Hope is cheap as shit. Let me show you why. I can give everybody in this room hope in like a couple seconds. Check this shit out. Hey, everybody. Shit's going to get a little better. <laughs> so now everybody in this room has been given a modicum of hope. Just from the concept of like, yeah, there's a future and it's uncertain. And I can imagine in the future that shit might be better for me. So yes, I've been given some hope. Right? So what's the other side of that slogan? Change. What is change, right? Change is inevitable. Change is something that is guaranteed with reality, right? It's something that fucking comes with, okay? Change is like one of the only things in existence that you don't have to promise. This is why the politician likes this shit. Because it's shit that is already gonna happen. Right? The slogans are always built like that. You're never gonna hear a slogan that's like, uh, a better economy through hard work. That's never going to happen. It's always going to be this hope and change bullshit. Change. The only thing you don't have to fucking promise. The only thing in the world you don't have to promise. Bob Dylan, famous for the song, times are fucking changing. Look, they're always changing. In the election, you're going to have a new president. Even if it's the same fucking president, he's going to do different shit this time. Times are fucking changing. You know what I mean? The date next to his presidency. It's going to be fucking different. It's unavoidable. Shit is unavoidable. Hope and change. And the funny thing about that slogan, it's completely self-fulfilling. Remember how I gave you motherfuckers hope just a minute ago? You remember how that shit didn't cost me anything? You remember how I didn't have to do shit to give you hope? I just say like, oh, shit's gonna get better. And you're like, yeah! I didn't have to do shit. That's why the politician likes this slogan. Hope and change. Just by putting the word hope next to the word change, that gives you hope. That means the slogan is the fulfillment of the promise. The politician doesn't have to do shit other than say his slogan, which he did not write. The politician pushing this slogan hasn't thought through this shit I'm explaining to you now. Now recently I saw another politician doing some politicking shit, and his slogan was just, Imagine. 
<laughs> imagine, right? Now, if you were to work up a basic definition for the word imagine, it might be something like shit that for sure is not happening. <laughs> right? So it's meaningless when the politician comes out and says, imagine when kids get out of college and have six fucking jobs waiting for them on the outside and shit. It's meaningless. It's an imaginary thing. Imagination is fundamentally happening in non-reality. Non-reality. Not happening. So you say, oh, every kid has better opportunity. All the tax makes sense. You know, Obamacare. Imagine Obamacare being repealed. And all the motherfuckers get big with balls for that shit. Because they like to imagine shit together. <laughs> but I can tell you, man, I'm a poor motherfucker. I had to sign up for the Obamacare under penalty of being, you know, foot sued or some shit. And I'm trying to get a vasectomy, right? Because I'm poor, and I'm trying not to make more poor people. <laughs> Seems to me if there's an Obamacare for poor people, this should be like an A-plus thing to fucking put in there. <laughs> So I'm trying to get this thing, and when I tried to call around, and I tried to get this shit covered under Obamacare, I kept hearing a phrase on the phone that made me realize the message of hope and change. I kept calling these people, unfortunately, we are unable to provide this service. We hope you are able to change insurance soon, motherfucker. <laughs> now I'm out of time, let me give you one more thought before I go. It's really easy to be skeptical about politics. It's really easy to be negative about our public servants, such as they are. So get out there and give it a try, Longmont. Come on. Thanks for listening. Cheers.